Okay, we got one more problem here. We've got uh, 2.4 kilogram mass. It's going to vertical. Ooh, I got red pen. Huh? In the end of a 1.6 meter long rod. At the bottom, this requires an upward force. It's always going to be upward, right? Uh, 45 newtons, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is let's find the weight of this thing. We need that because we're going to set up a newton second law to solve for the acceleration. Can't do that, though, without one of the forces. So weight is 2.4 times 9.81. Okay, so 2.4 times 9.81, 23.544 newtons. That force is going to be acting down, right? Okay, or no, yes, yes it will. Okay, whoa, I'm getting kind of spacey here. Okay, so here we are at the bottom. We're going around in this nice circle. Right here, we could be at the top, right? Okay, at the bottom, we're accelerating up. I bet we'll get an upward force, right? Uh, the force of gravity, though, is acting down like this, right? So we got 23.544 4 newtons this way, right? And then we have an upward force of 45 newtons. That's going to be positive. This got to be negative. And now we can set up our little thing here at the bottom. Our force is, whoops. I've got 45 minus 23.544, and that equals 2.4 times A, All right? So now we can solve that for A. I'm going to go parentheses. Let's see, let's store that. Let's go to um, 45 minus the weight divided by 2.4 is 8.94. Notice that it's positive 8.94, right? Um, okay, now we want to know what's the speed of the mass, right? That is the um, centripetal acceleration, so we can just go uh, a is v squared over r. So if you want to solve for v, it's the square root of ar, right? R, it's like the pirate formula, right? Okay, so square root of uh, 8.94 times, uh, what is it, 1.6. Okay, so times 1.6 raised to the 0.5. That's how lazy I am. 3.78 meters per second. Okay, so I'll always ask you, you know, what is the speed of it or what is the, um, the period of it, right? If it's period, you're going to use 4 pi squared r over t squared to figure it out, but since it's the speed, we'd use this one. Okay, and now we've got to figure out the force at the top. Uh, force at the top is going to be unknown. We don't know. Gravity is still down, 23.544. Right, so this is just a vertical acceleration problem. You always have gravity. Gravity is always acting down. Right, and then we've got the mass. And then what do we do for the acceleration? Well, at the top, we're accelerating toward the center. But since it's below us, we make the centripetal acceleration just negative. Okay, so we take this guy and we make it negative. Right? And, and the reason why it's negative is that we're accelerating down toward the center when we're at the top. And that changes the force needed, right? Okay, so let's see. We're going to go 2.4 times negative A. I stored that value in A, so, you know, it's kind of crazy. Oh, no, I didn't. Negative 8.94. <laughs> i got to type it in. That's how desperate things are getting there, right? And then I can add this guy, so I'm going to add the weight. And I get uh, the force is positive 2.088 newtons. Okay, so of course it's 2.09. That's definitely up, right? Um, because it's positive, right? The other clue you have that it's an upward force is that that acceleration is less than 9.81. So therefore, we got to kind of prop that thing up. If it were a string, it would go slack. If it was a cup of water upside down, water would fall out, right? That's the basic idea there. All right, hope that helps.